Hi, guys, me, Jackson. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a hype chain with two separate images. So, first, you're going to go to mcgcreator.com. And then, my first image is going to be this image right here. And then, we're going to download that as an SVG. And then, we're going to go to Canva for the next image. For the next image. And click logo. And then, I'm going to need it. Text and that text is going to be 20, 25. We're going to make this bigger. And then the font I'm going to use, so you're going to click font. Then you're going to click this arrow until you see uh, Sans Sheriff. And you can be this one right here. And then that looks good. So then we're going to make it bigger. And then we're going to click share, click download, and begin PNG. And then you're going to download it. And then next, I'm going to need a graduation, graduation cap. So search for graduation cap. And then we're going to see all. Then we're going to do this one right here. And then you're going to click share. Download it and download it. So once they download, you're gonna go back to the SVG creator and then you're gonna drop this image only with 25 and download that. Then we're gonna do the graduation cap. Download that one. And then now we're gonna go to Tinkercad. And you're gonna click create 3D design. Then you're going to go import, and then we're going to do the graduation cap or the a medallion. And you click art, and then make the width 170. You import that, and then you're going to do the text next. And then the text, we're going to make it 90. We click imports, and then now we're going to do the graduation cap. And then we're going to make quick art and make the width 70. We're going to import it. Once they import, you're going to make green to 2025 out. And then make the snap grid to 164. And you're bringing this method. For the 2025. I'm gonna rotate it by like, touching this tool. I'm gonna rotate it like right about right there. Bring that in to about there. And then once that looks good, we're gonna go to the graduation tab. When you click on it, you're gonna use tilt option and tilt it about that, like that. And then we're gonna bring it in right around there. And then, and then once we do that, we are going to do the heights now. So this medallion, we're going to make it 0.37. And then we're going to make the 2025, 0.4. And the same with the graduation cap, 0.4. And then once you have all the heights, right, you're going to select everything. And then you're going to group it. And then you're going to click export as an SVG. And then you're going to click import. And it should be the top one right here. You're just going to click art and leave it like that. And then once you finish, select both of them. And then you're this align tool and then you're gonna make click this one and then that one and then they're aligned and then you're gonna click this one and then you're gonna bring the quality all the way up and then you're gonna make the fill mode an outer line you can make the line with point two five
And then once you do that, you're gonna um copy and paste it. And then you're gonna align, and then you're gonna make this one the fill mode, you're gonna make it a silhouette, and then you're gonna select all of them, align the center like that. And then you're gonna make these brown ones 0.3, and the other one 0.3. And then you're going to select the outer line one and then make the corners round. The corners aren't sharp. And then you're just going to select it, click export as a dot STL. And then once it exports, you're going to go to my Hypeshain Nickelode file. And I'm going to put the link to this in the description. Then you're going to open it in MIMA Studio. Once it opens, you're gonna go to the ring. Then you're gonna click Add. It should be this one right here. And once it imports, you're gonna make the four colors and the base color is gonna be white. Then you're gonna make the second color a red. Then you're gonna need a black. And you're gonna need a gold. And then so you're gonna click on it with this coloring tool. Then you're gonna select layer color and then you make the hot range all the way up. You're gonna select right here, right below the text. And then now you're gonna go switch to black. And then you're gonna go right there. So then you're you're gonna do 2025 and then graduation cat black. And now you're gonna select the gold. And then this time you're gonna go to circle. And then make the pen size the minimum. And you go over here and draw a line like that. Then you just like the fill option. Let's click right there. So then you fill that. And now you're gonna click return. Grab the rings. You make one of them, we're gonna rotate it. Like that to where this little loop is facing up. And then I'm going to bring this back in. I'm going to right click it and click center. Now we're going to make the size correct. So you're going to click scale. You're going to make the size the biggest one, which for me is the X. Make it 170. Now we're going to click all people from scale. And then make the Z 100%. So it keeps the height. And now I'm going to right click, center it. Then we do the same thing with this ring. So I'm going to right click it, center it. And with your air kids, we're going to bring it up. About there. But that is, so that's the center. The odd thing is going to look better if we move it to the right a little bit. To around there. You're going to bring this ring right over here. You're going to select all of them by holding shift on your keyboard. Then selecting all of them. Then you're going to right click. And then click merge. And then bring it to the center. Click slash split. And now you're gonna go print it. Please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Bye, Jackson out.